hey everyone so welcome to another tutorial and in this tutorial i will quickly show you how you can add an ssl certificate to your website hosted on easy wp namechip managed hosting so um, if you have already opted for the turbo plan or supersonic plan it's much easier for you but if you have opted for the starter plan which is the cheapest one it is a bit you you will have to uh, follow some extra step to generate an SSL certificate custom certificate because in the starter plan name cheap doesn't offer you a free SSL certificate by default so without further delay let's quickly start the tutorial first log into your WordPress dashboard if you don't know how to do it uh, you can check my other tutorial and um, then go to select the website for which you want to generate your SSL certificate so if i go to my website now um, chrome will show this the error because i have removed my ssl certificate and it is showing that it is not secure and it is not loading so to fix this um, even though i have the supersonic plan and um, i will show you both methods to do it just scroll down and uh, see this uh, until you see this option ssl certificate then click on manage and from here you can see the status is showing inactive and there's uh, this in certificate there's no SSL certificate so click on add and if you follow the default name cheap tutorial to add certificate they would want you to pay for it but with my method it is completely free and it is provided by let's encrypt so uh, okay so if you have the turbo plan you will our uh, supersonic plan you will have this option free positive ssl which is provided by namecheap by default uh, and for if you have the starter plan only so you will have you will not have this option and so you will have this option select this custom ssl certificate for turbo plan and uh, supersonic plan user just select this and click on change and um, then uh, change the inactive status to active and for startup plan users select this custom ssl certificate and here you will have to provide this three uh, things private key ssl certificate and ca bundle so um, to get this three stuff to gender uh, we'll have to go back and go back to files and database okay so i tried to create this tutorial before but um, but it was showing me a lot of errors and i was not able to generate it for hours so i have spent a lot of time trying to figure this out to help other people so please leave a like and post a comment if you uh, if you think it was useful so in the files and database uh, generate access for sftp access uh, select this option access for one hour and then click on access files okay so this will give you the detail uh, credentials to access the your wordpress files using sftp so okay what you have to do is download a sftp client called filezilla just go to google and search for filezilla and the solution go for this open this website and from here go to download filezilla client we need the client okay depending on which uh, os you use select this and from this we just need the basic filezilla client so just download it and install it i have already downloaded and installed so i will not show it it's very simple to do and if you have any pro face any problem uh, if you don't know how to do it you can post in the comments but i think it's pretty simple to do so okay now let's go back to the easy wp dashboard okay so after installing the filezilla client just open it um okay, filezilla I will just reinstall it so this time let's uh, keep it on desktop icon okay so for some reason it was not working and I have also shown you how to install it so that's good all right okay now 
okay now after running it okay now um, from here just copy uh, access details server details copy and paste in the filezilla client username okay i'm uh, this tutorial has become a bit longer and so i'm just doing things quickly you know just copy paste all the details from here pretty easy to do and just enter the correct port number then click on this drop down button then select sftp and um, it is again asking for the password so just copy your password from here and paste it and select ok ok click ok and ok so now we can access the file on the server ok so now what we have to do is um, go to this website sslforfree.com I will put its link in the description and please make sure to check the description before uh, doing this before generating a certificate and adding SSL certificate because if there is any new info I will update it there so after on this website uh, here enter your domain name this website generate uh, a free SSL certificate using let's encrypt service so if you had um, access to cPanel it will be much easier but uh, we are using EZWP managed hosting so it's a bit uh, complicated so here uh, enter your domain name and make sure the spelling is correct then click on create free SSL certificate and this uh, website offers three methods for verification automatic FTP where you could provide this simple details uh, but I tried that and I tried a lot a lot of time many times and it won't work so I think uh, it is getting blocked by Namecheap server or something they have changed something I don't know so other two methods are manual verification so with this manual verification we will uh, need the filezilla client which we i will show you now because with the manual verification dns uh, this will be much easier if it for if it was uh, possible to do because it uh, want uh, for this method you will have to add a text record txt record to your dns server and if you try to do that with namecheap basic dns if you're using ezwp service you will have to use the namecheap dns um, and if you try to add a txt record what happens is it doesn't allow you to select the ttl to one second the minimum ttl it allows you to set as one minute and this uh, verification uh, for this verification you will have to set the ttl to one second so anyway uh, both these methods are out and we have only this method so select this manual verification okay um, yeah before you do that uh, this free asset certificate generates certificate for both these domains for your domain name and it also automatically adds a www dot version of your website so uh, and uh, when I was trying to generate SSL for this it was showing up me error and after spending hour trying to figure out what the problem was uh, I figured it was this uh, version of www dot which was causing error so uh, we have to remove it just go to add edit domains then from here just remove it and then again click on create free SSL certificate and it will show you a warning that are you sure you don't want to secure the www dot version of the domain click on yes and make sure that you don't use the www dot version because then it will show you an error and you, this website also allows you to create wildcard entry certificate so but because namecheap doesn't allow you to use subdomains so i think it's just useless for um, and i want to keep this tutorial simple so make sure that you are generating certificate only for your domain and then click on manual verification and then click on manually verify domain and then scroll down and this will show it will show you uh, give you a file to download click on download file and okay after downloading a file what you have to do is go to the filezilla client well uh, i've already created this folder so i will just for the demo i will delete it and show you again 
how to do it okay so by default uh, this will uh, it will show you for you all this folder will be visible and um, what you have what we need is to create a folder name dot well known and another folder acme challenge so go to your filezilla client and click anywhere here then right click and then create directory and click on create directory and enter it and here re <coughs> sorry about that rename it to well dot well hyphen known make sure the spelling is correct and then click ok and now you have entered it then again right click create directory entry enter it again select this option and this time uh, create a folder name acme hyphen challenge make sure the spelling name is correct and you can check the spelling name from here okay now uh, we will need to upload this file we just downloaded so it will go to your downloaded uh, from uh, downloaded directory so from here go to download and it will show you like this and then click here and click on refresh and your this is the latest file we just downloaded you can see the file name if you cannot see this you can sort your file sort this by file name so then right click it and select on upload again it is asking for the password so let's go to the easy wp dashboard copy your passport password and click on ok and the file has been uploaded successfully so let's go back to the website and see if it's uh, if other file is showing there so okay for me um, there is some problem with this website um, because I was using the previous SSL certificate and um, uh, up for this tutorial I disable it so Chrome is showing constantly error I will try and Mozilla Okay, I will remove the HTTPS from the URL and you can see this file uh, we have successfully uploaded this file and it's working it is, uh, I will just cancel it we do not need to save it okay so we have completed the five steps now we have to click just click this option download SSL certificate and it will check and we have successfully generated SSL certificate for our website and from here just um, if you want to be notified about expiration you can do this but it's optional so I will not do it and from here just select this all go back to your EZWP dashboard and go to overview then go to SSL certificate click on add and custom SSL certificate and uh, paste it uh, make sure that you uh, sorry I pasted the uh, it in the wrong column first we need to paste the private key so make sure that you are pasting the correct details in correct columns so just paste it the private key here first and then second we need SSL certificate um, this is the first option is the SSL certificate so select it right click and paste it here okay so and this is optional but we have this so let's just paste it and select it copy it and paste it okay so we have uh, pasted everything in the correct you can see the tick boxes so now click on <coughs> sorry so now click on change and uh, you can see this option bonjour is now predicted with SSL certificate so we have <coughs> sorry 
successfully added custom SSL certificate on our website and the status has uh, automatically changed to active again so let's try if it's working usually it takes a while for the certificate to be updated and if it is showing a uh, if chrome or browser the browser are uh, still showing you error just wait for a few minutes till uh, before it gets updated okay let's try and mozilla if it's working okay Okay, it's still not working right now. Okay, that's showing the setter. So what you have to do is just um, wait for a while until it gets updated and then it will not show you the setter. And if it doesn't get solved, try toggling the active status on off button on off again. So to be honest, I would just go with the turbo plan or supersonic plan just to avoid this hassle. It is really, it can be really a hassle. Let's try refreshing and it's, let's try to, to turn it back on. And now let's try refreshing it. And you can see, see just uh, toggle the on active button. And it is, you can see the we have successfully installed our SSL certificate and our website is uh, now showing the correct HTTPS version correctly and just not showing the not secure either. And we can access our website on Chrome. So if you see the certificate details, it is issued by Let's Encrypt. And from today, it may to six valid till uh, 6 August 20. So name, name crypt uh, issue certificate for a few months and you have, when it will expire you will have to reinstall it regenerate and install certificate so well it can be a little hassle but uh, so if you want you can go for the if you were using cpanel then you won't have to worry about it let's encrypt has their own bot and it will auto renew your certificate but ezwp doesn't have option if you are not using their turbo or supersonic plan so I I feel they should have just provided with a free SSL certificate option with the starter plan also, and so you know these two th um, two uh, these two things have disappointed me. The free SSL certificate not available in starter plan and the free CDN they offer with all their plans is I feel as uh, kind of they are misled misled people because the free CDN is not like a premium CDN, but uh, it is uh, about is they offer only the their free plan with this or with all hosting plans a supersonic turbo starter with all plans they only offer the free tier so i feel a bit misled with that other than that i have not explored much but i mean but um, it looks it is easy to set up so that's um, you can uh, check out my full review uh, in my other video so you can find that playlist link in the description and comments so basically this is how you install certificate and after doing everything just revoke your ftp access and that's it so i hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you have any question doubts or getting any errors please post in the comments and i will try to help you okay, see you in the next video